What is up guys? We are facing Apocalypse, the capstone villain of the Age of Apocalypse expansion on expert mode with magic. And this will be my first time uh, playing Apocalypse and my first time playing with standard three. So we have the Pursued by the Past environment in play right here. This is a permanent setup. Force response after you play a Pursuit counter here. If the number of Pursuit counters here is at least three more than the number of players. So since one player is going to be four, uh, remove each counter here. If your Nemesis minion is in play, it activates against you. Otherwise, flip this card over. And then uh, we will also be playing him on Expert mode. So we have the Expert 1 cards here with Master Play under Fire and Exhaustion. And we'll be starting off on a Stage 2 with him. So let's shuffle these three cards into the Encounter deck. And we'll shuffle up. And then uh, with the recommended modular sets of the End Sovereigners Pyramid, it says we also use uh, Celestial Tech and the Clan Akaba, which has this permanent setup uh, side scheme right here. And then this will come with Fire Threat with a Force Response. After Threat is placed here, there's at least 10. Remove Fire Threat from the scheme and do each player face an encounter card. So that could get nasty. And then uh, Apocalypse begins in his Biomore form. So this form, his three sides, he has his Cyberpath form, and he also has his uh, Giant form. So he starts off in the Biomorph here with one scheme, three attack, and his attacks gain overkill. After Apocalypse changes his form, do two indirect damage to each player. So it's when he changes. So I guess when he starts off, we don't have to do anything with that. Um, he begins in a form, and then do each player a face-on counter card. So we get one face-on counter card to start the game off. And then the main scheme here starts off with one threat, plus one every single turn. And then force response after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one pa power counter here. Uh, if there are at least four power counters, we remove four of them and this card cards on top of the counter until we get a super powered card and then reveal it. Okay, so we did everything with him. We're going to shuffle up our player deck here for magic. This is the same uh, 50 card deck that I used against uh, Venom Goblin. And we'll see how it does against Apocalypse. We're going to draw up to our hand size here of six. All right, and let's see what we got. Okay, uh. Oof, I don't like anything here. Let's mulligan and discard this whole hand. And actually, should we keep the step four cuckoos? Uh, oof, okay, let's keep this. We're going to mulligan and discard these five cards and draw five more back up to our hand size of six. And we're keeping the step four cuckoos in case we get nothing else to play. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we did get a build support. All right, let's go ahead and play a spiritual meditation here. Play only if your identity has a mystery trait. We have the mystery trait here. Action, draw two cards, and then choose and discard one card from your hand. Uh, let's discard a clobber here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and flip over here to hero form. So our interrupt says when you change the hero form, choose a spell card in your discard pile, so the uh, spiritual meditation, and then put it on top of your deck. Limit once per phase. And it goes on our deck uh, face up because of magic's hero form here. Play with the top card of your deck face up. Once per phase, you may play the top card of your deck as if it were in your hand, reducing its cost by one. So we could play the Spiritual Meditation here. Uh, let's see, what are we trying to get down? Uh, do we want to get rid of Build Support? We could. Let's first just use our effect here to play the Spiritual Meditation. So we're going to play it here. Reduce its cost by one. It's already zero, so it doesn't matter. Uh, play only if you have the Mystery Trait. We have the Mystery Trait. Draw two cards, and then choose in its card one card from hand. Okay, we got Limbo, which is awesome. Uh, Discard one card from our hand. I think we lose Machine Man here. Yeah. Yeah, let's toss Machine Man. Okay, and then the top of our deck is going to be face up with Magic's effect. So we got Sunfire here. Okay, so we can't use her effect anymore because that's only once per phase. So we got to make do with this hand here. If we get down build support. Oh, we have scrying. Oh man, okay. Uh, lots to think about. Okay, I think we do this, get out build support, and we clear it with a basic spell. Then we get out our X jet. We can play limbo. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and play scrying here. So action, look the top three cards of your deck, draw one, discard one, put one back on top of your deck. Um, oof, okay. So let's get a spiritual meditation. Let's discard a spiritual meditation. Um, actually, let's just do all, all three of them right here. So we're going to get a spiritual meditation, put one on top of our deck face up. 
discard Sunfire. That will resolve the scrying. We're going to play Spiritual Meditation, draw two, and discard one card from your hand. Uh, let's lose Marrow here. I'm fishing for a double resource. We're going to play another Spiritual Meditation, draw two, discard one card from your hand. Oof, not the home technique. Okay, let's discard the home technique. I don't think we're focusing on playing it yet. Okay, was not able to fish for a double. Um, we got through a pretty big chunk of our deck here. Uh, all right, let's see. If I play this, we could get the X Jet. Play Limbo. We're still. Oh, I talk about our deck's face up here. So Nelly, um, because of Magic's effect. Darn, I don't like how this looks at all. Uh, I think we play Heli Carrier. Reduce the cost so we could play Limbo and then we can play Angel. Okay, so this would be three resources so we can play Helicare. We can exhaust the Helicare to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. So we can play Limbo here for free. And we could exhaust Limbo to swap a card in your hand with the top card of your deck. And after Villain Flays begins, we can exhaust Limbo to swap a card in your hand with the top card of your deck. So let's go ahead and exhaust it to swap a build support with the melee here. And then Angel says reduce the cost of play by one. If your enemy has immune or X Men trait, we do have the X Men trait. So it's only two cost. Two resources so we can play angel all right uh let's see he has overkill here uh which is not great we are going to how do we flip his form i have no clue how to flip his form here um three attack uh okay we're gonna have magic thor for one from the main scheme angel's gonna throw for one from the ancient ritual here drop this down to four we'll take a consequential damage that's going to end our turn. We're going to ready back up and then draw back up to our hand size of five here. So we've got a double, which I like, and a mansion. Okay, top card's going to be face up. Stepping disc. And then we could use Limbo. We're not going to. Okay. So, Apocalypse turn. He's going to add one threat to the main scheme. Then it says, after resolving step one, the villain phase, adding the threat, we place one power counter here. So let's put a power counter right here. And there's not four, so we don't do anything with that. He's going to attack us with a base of three plus a boost card here. I think we just block here. Uh, yeah, let's defend for two. This would be the boost. Uh, boost effects us after this activation, review this card. So he just attacks for three. We defend for two. We take one damage. That brings from 10 down to nine. Then it's after the activation. So we review the staggering strength. Attach to Apocalypse and change him to giant form. Okay, and then it says... When Apocalypse attacks you, you are stunned. Discard this card after his activation. Okay, so we change him to a giant form here. Uh, okay, then he's gonna deal us one face down counter card. And the first one, did anything happen here? Anything happens here? We got Clan Akaba Zelliot. So two scheme, two attack, three hit points with guard, place two threat on Ancient Richard whenever he's defeated. So nothing now. And then we also got uh, technological interface. So it's a superpower card. When reviewed, if Apocalypse is in Cyberpath form, he's not. He activates against you. Otherwise, change Apocalypse to Cyberpath form. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so first, whenever he changes this form, it says there's a force response. After Apocalypse changes to this form, Q2 damage room, but he's already right, equipped, so nothing happens. Then it says uh, if he's not in Cyberpath form, we change it to Cyberpath. So he goes into this form here with Retaliate 1, and then place one power counter on the main scheme. Okay, then the force response for this form is after you change this form, place two threat on each scheme in play. So the main goes up to three. And then Ancient Ritual goes from four up to six. Okay, and does this stay on him? Attack the block change in a giant form when you when he attacks you, you are stunned. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. He just gets one attack here with the plus two. Okay, and then we have the cleanse Elliot here with guard. And when he's defeated, we put two threat on here. All right, um, so it's back to our turn. I think, let's see, how do we, I think we play a clobber here. Let's get rid of the Zelliot first. So this would be a double resource, so it can play a clobber. Hero Ash and Attack, do three damage to an enemy. We're gonna knock this guy out. When he's defeated, plays two threat on Ancient Ritual. So this goes from six up to eight. Then Clobber says, it is the first card you have played this round, return it to your hand. So it goes back to our hand here. Uh, and then, let's see, do we 
And we could just get down to the mansion and uh, try to chill a little bit. Do we want to get down build support at all? No, I don't think we do. Or we might need to play the exorcism here. Uh, we can also get it ready with stepping disc. Oh yeah, with our effect. So we get a ready exorcism. Uh, or do we... Yeah, we don't need to do that. If he, he won't change this form again, I think. Because he only changed form once, so he, he won't add threat to the build support. Okay, let's... Oh, I think we need a limbo here. Oh, actually, we can confuse him, actually. Uh, that would probably be the best play. Okay, we're going to exhaust limbo to switch the top card of our deck with a card in our hand. We're going to put the build support on top of our deck here. So this has a mental resource. Then we're going to use two resources here so we can play Exorcism. Hero action, remove four threat from the scheme. Let's take four off of the Ancient Ritual. Draw this from eight down to four. It says, if the top card of your deck has a mental resource, which it does, uh, let's confuse the villain. So Apocalypse is now confused here. He doesn't have Star Wars in this form. He only has it in his giant form. So now he's confused. And then we want to definitely flip down to take advantage of that confused here. We're going to use our effect to play the top card of your deck, reducing its cost by one. So we play build support here for free, coming in with three. Top card is going to flip face up with Magic's effect of a soul strike here. Uh, we can't play it. So let's use the Helicarrier to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. So we can play Stepping Disc. Ready your hero. Choose a Magic card in your discard pile, not name Stepping Disc, and put it on top of your deck. So what do we want to get? Uh, I think we get Scrying here. We could get Exorcism again. Uh, we only have one more left in deck. Do we need an Exorcism here? Hmm. No, because we're going to be flipping over to Hero form. So let's get Scrying. Uh, where is it? Scrying. Okay, so Magic card put on top of our deck. That will resolve the Stepping Disc. Then we're not going to throw it out Build Support here, I think. Uh, let's have Magic Thor for one. I think, we, actually, we just do it. Yeah, so we're going to do two off of Build Support. Uh, or one with Magic Store, Angel Thor's for one, so one more. We'll take Consequential Damage, and then we're going to flip down to Arch Ego because he's confused. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. Draw back up to our hands of six in Arch Ego. So, oh, this should be face down, but it doesn't matter. We draw it back up anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got the X Jet. Okay. And we got a double, so that's for triage, but... Hmm. Okay. Uh, Apocalypse turn, he's going to add one to the main. Goes up to four. Then he adds a power counter after step one of the villain phase. So there's three, not four yet. Then he's going to scheme because we're in Archigo, but he's confused. Nothing happens. Uh, then we get a face on counter card, which is master plan. Oof, okay. Place four threat on each side scheme. So build support goes up to five. And then the ancient ritual here goes up to eight. Oh, that was really terrible. And it's back to our turn. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Do we? I think we use our scrying here. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get out build support anymore at this point because of the. Uh, we have a double here with the X jet, anyways. So I'm not sure if it's worth it to throw for five from here when we have to throw from there as well. Let's go ahead and play scrying. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Draw one, discard one, put one back on top of your deck. So one, two, three. Ooh, we got Nick Fury. Okay. We definitely get Nick to our hand. And then I want an energy here for our uh, soul strike. So do we need to, uh, if Nick blocks, because I want to get rid of this thing. So I do want it to activate on us. But thing is, uh, no, we still just stun. Okay, so we're going to put... Let's put the basic spell on top and then stepping disc, discard it with the scribe's effect. Uh, I think it's going to be the play here. No, we're going to change it all up anyways because we're going to play Nick now because I want to get scribe when we flip. All right, let's use the helicarrier to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. This would be a double resource when paying for a basic card. And then one more resource. So right here, it's going to be the total of the four that we need to play Nick Fury. 
When Nick Fury enters play, choose one win pick the one to draw three. So one, two, three. Okay. Oh, basic spell shouldn't have been faced up because we're in Arthigo, so it should have been faced down, but it didn't change anything because we knew what it was. Okay, so we got the Sorcerer Supreme. I would like to actually play X Jet into Sorcerer Supreme. Is that too greedy? I don't think it is too greedy. Uh, let's go ahead and flip over here to Hero Form. And with our interrupt, we're going to get a spell card from our discard pop on top of the deck. Let's get Scrying. Uh, do we get Scrying? Or let me see. If we play X Jet, play Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, let's get Scrying. We're not going to be able to do anything else. Okay. Maybe we can look into another double. Okay, so we can play a top card of our deck for free with our effect here in Hero Form Monster Face. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to play Scrying here. Look at the top three cards of your deck. One, two. Oh, nice. Okay. So we get one to our hand, the energy. We discard one, the clobber, and put one back on top of our deck, the magic barrier. All right. So we did get the energy now. So we should be able to do some more things. If we play the X Jet, we can play Sorcerer Supreme. We can limbo into a soul strike. Oh no, we already used this effect. Yeah, so we can't limbo into the source strike. We Let's see, do we have something that's one cost? Right here, the X Jet. Uh, we can still limbo and then we just play our mystic armor so we can retaliate one. I think that's fine. Okay, so two resources here. So we can play the Sorcerer Supreme. We put this over here. Play only if you have the Mystic Trait, which we do. We get plus one hand size in hero form now. That's pretty big. And then let's go ahead and exhaust Limbo to switch a card from our hand with the top card of our deck. So we get the Magic Barrier and put the Soul Strike here. Then we're going to use this as three resources so we can play the X Jet. We can exhaust the X Jet to generate a water resource for a character with the X Men Trait. We have the X Men Trait here. One resource so we can play our Mystical Armor. We get retaliate one if the top card of our deck is a energy or a wild, we get plus one defense. Let's put these cards over here. All right, so Nick Fury is going to, uh, oof, okay. Uh, we got a Thor for two from here, and then Magic's going to, yeah, we're going to Thor for two with Nick from here. Drop this down to six, he'll take a consequence of damage. Magic will Thor for one from the main. There's a lot of thwarting that we need here. Okay, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand sets of 6 now because we have the Sorcerer Supreme. We got Colossus, which is really good with the overkill form. Uh, so up to 6 now, next week, next Sorcerer Supreme. Top card's going to be faced up here, the Soul Sword. We haven't gotten our crown yet. Okay, so Apocalypse turn, he's going to add 1 to the main. Then he adds a power counter. So when there are 4 power counters, we discard these 4 counters. And then we... Uh, mill from the top of the counter until we get a super power card and then reveal it. So mill them down here. We got super power right here. Giant sized uh, depot. Uh, one reviewed if Apocalypse is in giant form, he's not. Otherwise, change him to giant form, place one power counter on the main Okay, so that's actually really good. He changed the giant form. So I'm glad I didn't stun him. And then place one power counter on the main scheme. And then whenever he changes the power. Uh, giant form, the response is huge to damage. He's already at full, so nothing happens. He has this plus two attack. Okay, so he did that. He's going to attack us now with the boost card. He does not have overkill, so Nick will block. This will be the boost. After this activation, change him to bottom one. Okay, so he's saying for one, two, three, four, five. Knocks out Nick Fury. Uh, then the activation is over, right? Oh no, we have this. So when Apocalypse attacks you, you are stunned. So that's his first attack with that. And then. Discard this card after this activation. So this gets this card now, and then we got stunned. Now it's after activation. So with the boost here, it says change him to Biomore. Uh, this guy. So, oh, that's the overkill one. All right, so he changes to Biomore. And then we don't place a power count with the boost effect. Yeah. Okay, so we change this form. Uh, do two indirect damage to each player, so we take two on magic. Let's draw from nine down to seven. And then I think that's it. Yeah, he has, he has overkill in this form. Then we get a phase down encounter card, which is Celestial Armor. Okay, attached to the villain. When the villain schemes against you, discard a top card of your deck. If the resource has whatever this effect is, then we have to trigger it. So we want to do a mental here, which we can actually do with Limbo. Magic's actually really good against Apocalypse here. 
Uh, okay, so that's going to resolve that. It's back to our turn. I could have played Colossus here. Um, that's fine. So this is only going to be when he schemes. Uh, he's not going to scheme on us right now. We're going to stun him, and this won't trigger yet. So we can stop off an activation with this overkill here. Uh, we also have Professor X too. So we're not going to play Professor X because it's a little bit lower tempo than what I would like. Even though I do want his thwarting, the build support is just going to stay here forever because I don't think we're clearing that off. Uh, what is the go here? Do we want to start attacking? So, so no, he heals so much if we attack. So we need to just build out our board a little bit. Uh, keep him lost in hand. Okay, let's go ahead and use a Helicarrier to reduce the cost of the next card that we play by one. Extra, oh wait, wait, no. Yeah, that's fine. To reduce the cost of the next card we play by one, extra will generate a resource. So we can play our Soul Strike here. Uh, here, action attack, do four damage to enemy. So we're gonna hit him for four. He doesn't have retaliate. So that'll bring him from 20 down to 16, our first damage in this game. And it says, if the top card of your deck has a physical resource, it does, we can stun that enemy. So Apocalypse is now stunned in his battle morph form. Okay, that will resolve the, oh, I forgot, we are stunned. Okay, so actually first, we're gonna make a basic attack to remove our stun. Then we do the same thing. So we, we still do the soul strike and everything, and then we can stun Apocalypse. Okay, uh, okay. So I think we're good there. And then do we play our, okay, I gotta remember we have retaliate one, two. Yeah, I am probably not going with that. So I think we play iron heart here. Uh, do I give up Professor X? Yeah, that's fine. So this will be two resources so we can play iron heart. And we play Ironheart from your hand, draw one card, so we draw a Soul Sword, and the top card is going to be Crown, okay. The Crown is pretty big. I think we get our Crown down. Yeah, okay, so this would be, uh, we're going to use our effect here. So once per phase, you may play the top card of your deck, reducing its cost by one. So Crown, the Crown is only one cost now. We're going to use Legion as a resource, so it can play Magic's Crown. Okay, so now we gain Steady, which will be helpful against Apocalypse. If the top card of your deck is a Mental or uh, Wog, we get plus one Thwart. So it doesn't matter with Forge right here. Uh, let's go ahead and use Limbo to switch a card in our hand with the top card of our deck. We're going to switch Colossus for Forge. And we're going to use Forge as a resource so we can play our Soul Sword. So we have all of our Magic cards. So I got to remember, we now have Piercing, Steady, and Retaliate. Okay. Uh... Ironheart is going to thwart for one from the main. Should take a consequential damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand size here of six because of the Sorcerer Supreme. And we deck out. So we get a face iron counter card. And then we're going to shuffle up our discard pile back to the deck. I think we're doing pretty good. And we're drawing three more cards back up to our hands as a six next to the Sorcerer Supreme. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Triage is really good here to heal us. Oh, we got the resources too. Okay. So this is a really good hand. We can also play Colossus if he attacks us uh, past the stun. Okay. So Apocalypse turn, one threat to the main. Then he adds a power counter. I, I'm, well, this hasn't happened yet, right? There's been no pursuit counters. Um, yeah. Okay. So we added the power counter. He's going to attack us, but he's stunned, so the attack does not go off. This only triggers whenever he schemes. Uh, then he's going to deal us a face down encounter card. First one is Technological Interface. If he's in Sire Path form, he's not. So we change the Sire Path form, this one, and then place one power counter on the main scheme. Okay. And in Sire Path form, it says whenever Force responds, uh, we change this form, place two down each scheme in play. So this goes up here. This goes up here. Okay, that is the worst response. And then two on the build support, which is beyond my reach now. Um, okay, change Apocalypse side by form. Place one power counter in I think we just placed that already. Uh, well, yeah, I think we placed it already. Um, did we place it? Let me see. We, the turn began, we added a counter. He, he attacked. Yeah, we placed another counter. Yeah, I think we placed it. Okay. And then Biomorphic Blast. When reviewed Apocalypse is in Biomorphic form, he activates against you. He's not. So we change into Biomorphic form. He's going to change forms again. Okay. 
and then place one power counter on the main scheme. Okay, so we place a power counter now, and there's going to be four. So we discard the four counters, and we mill from the encounter until we get a superpower card. Uh, we got one right here. We got a side scheme. Okay, we got to get rid of this right away because if he changes form, it's going to be nasty. So this comes in with five threat with an amplify. When defeated, if Apocalypse is in bottom morph form, he activates against a player. Otherwise, change the bottom morphic form and then uh, give him a tough status card. Oh, I was hoping he'd get an attack activation on us um, so I could play Colossus and not exhaust him. Uh, oh, this is actually not fun at all. Okay, so it's back to our turn. Um, oh, our top card of our deck should be face up with Magic's effect, so I forgot to do that. Um, okay. Do we prioritize getting rid of that? Uh, we basic spell it we I want to play triage as well and then hmm okay let's see what what effect do we get with the energy we get no effect so do we just keep putting colossus here on top of our deck uh I don't want to get okay Let's go ahead and use Limbo here. So we're gonna swap Marrow with Triage. Cause I for sure wanna get Triage down. Actually, uh, let's swap, yeah, that's fine. Okay, then we're going to use our effect to play Triage, one cost with the X Jet here, because uh, with our effect. So when Triage enters play, Hue 2 damage from X-Men let's Hue 2 from Magic. So we go from seven up to nine. And our top card's gonna be face up here. So we've got a physical here. Uh, physical means we can do damage. But I think we gotta focus on thwarting right now. Uh, is there any way to? Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's just play your basic spell. So this would be a double resource when paying for a gray card. So we can play our basic spell. Hero action, choose one. We're gonna pick the one to remove three there from the scheme. Let's take three off of here. Drop it down to two. And then that resolves that. Uh, we're gonna have. We just play all of our allies. So GR stores for one. Takes a consequential damage. Iron Heart. Oh, he's gonna activate. Uh if Apocalypse is in bottom form, he activates. Yeah, he is in bottom form, so he's gonna activate against us, which means he, he attacks. Uh oh, we could play Colossus down here as he interrupts. So I think that actually works out. Uh yeah, okay. So we're going to Yeah, we use all of our effects here. Okay, we're going to have Ironheart Thor for one from here. Clear it off. Uh, so first, when this side is defeated, if Apocalypse is in bottom morph form, he activates against a player who defeated it. So he's going to attack us. And then we don't have to do anything else with there. So he's going to hit us here with a base of three plus a boost here. Colossus has an interrupt. When enemy attacks you, uh, play Colossus from your hand, paying his resource cost, and declare him the defender without exhausting him. So this would be three resources, so we can play Colossus. And then that will max our ally limit because we, we don't have three odds. So we must discard one. Let's discard Ironheart because she's going to take the consequential damage anyways and get defeated. So Colossus comes in here with toughness. He's the defender of this attack with overkill, and we don't have to exhaust him. So this is the boost. Three plus after his activation, change him to giant form. So it's just going to be three damage. Knocks off Colossus' tough status card. And then we change him over to giant form, where when he changes his form, he's going to heal two. So he goes from 16 up to 18. Okay, it's going to be a lot of healing here. Um, Okay, so this we ignore. Uh, we have Marrow. Can't play Marrow though. All right, so we're gonna have Colossus Thor for two. We gotta do the main. Drop this down to three. He'll take a consequential damage. And he has Stalwart now. Magic is gonna Thor for just one. Uh, or do we just swing? You know what? We're gonna swing for three with this because uh, our Soul Sword gives a plus one attack without a physical here. So we hit him for three. That will bring Apocalypse from 18 down to 15. If this flips, I think it's okay. All right, uh, it's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. He does not have his uh, stalwart here, or his uh, overkill. He has stalwart in this form. We're going to keep Mirror in our hand, draw back up to 6, because we have the Sorcerer Supreme. Okay, the Exorcism is great. Uh, and the top card is going to be face up here. So hopefully we can change his form here so I can uh, stun him. Uh, so Apocalypse turn is going to add 1 to the main. Goes up to five, then he adds a power counter. 
He's going to hit us here. No overkill, just three damage. We're going to have triage block. Here's a boost. Three plus three, six damage. Knocks triage out. Then uh, he doesn't do anything after that, right? Yeah. And then we get a face down encounter card, which is Sinister Strike. Okay, so this is our first Pursued by the Past card. When reviewed in hero form, place one Pursuit counter on Pursued by the Past. Then if it has any counters on it, the villain attacks you. Oh man, what the? So, okay, he's going to attack us again here. Uh, that was actually really nasty. So he's going to hit us here. Let's have Angel Block. Uh, this would be the boost. So three plus boost effect. Uh, choose to either place three threat on Ancient Ritual, or get, this card gets plus three boost icons. Let's give it three boost icons. So just six damage. He has no overkill. That knocks out Angel. All right, so we managed to survive there. Uh, no other triggers. Yeah, it's back to our turn. Okay, uh, we couldn't change his form. So if we exorcise him here, we don't get... Uh, hmm. Is there any way for us to change his form here? No, I still want to play the extras no matter what, just to get the confuse off. Uh, I think we want to see what the top card of our deck is, so let's go ahead and use Limbo. Swap the Magic Barrier with... Um, it doesn't matter, right, because we're not getting the stunt or confused, so we can swap it here with the Exorcism. Then we're going to use our effect to play Exorcism here, so it's only one cost because our effect reduced the cost by one. Extra is going to be a resource, so we can play it. Your action thought remove four threat from the scheme. We're going to take four off of here. Drop it down there. Okay. And then, uh, oh, top card is going to be face up now. Oh, here, exorcism uh, that we cannot play because we can't draw it here. All right. Uh, hmm. Start with an energy resource, which doesn't help us at all here. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and use. Oh, we have stepping disc though. So stepping disc. Is actually really good um okay do we have any spells no we don't have any Wait, what come on we got we gotta have some okay we have soul strike as our spell so i think we play soul strike stepping disc it back uh and then we can do a lot of authority here okay let's exhaust the helicare to reduce the cost next card we play by one this would be a resource so we can play our soul strike hero action attack do four damage to enemies so four to apocalypse I'll bring it from 15 down to 11. And then uh, we can't summon anyways because he has stars, so it doesn't matter. That resolves the soul strike. Then we're going to we play two stepping discs. Colossus blocks. I kind of want to get out Mero. Uh, no, I think we need to thwart though. Okay, we're just going to double stepping discs. It's kind of scary here. Uh, that's fine. So. We're going to have magic swing for two because we have two attack. We don't get the plus one here. So that will bring Apocalypse from 11 down to nine. Then we're going to use a resource here so we can play a stepping disc. Hero action, ready your hero. Choose a magic card in your disc pile. Uh, not named stepping disc, put it on top of your deck. Let's get the soul strike here. So now we have a mental resource. We get plus one Thor with our crown. So we're going to Thor for two from the main. Drop it from five down to three. And then, do we have, what other magic cards do we have here? Uh, we don't really have anything. I guess we get the magic barrier for an attack. Uh, oof. I guess we just do magic barrier. Okay, so let's use. Uh, okay, let's use this as a resource to play stepping disc. So, ready your hero again. Choose a card and discard out a magic card. So we get a magic barrier on top here. So that's a physical. And then we're going to swing here for three because the physical with our soul circuit is plus one. So that'll bring him from nine down to six. And then that's going to end our turn. Our oh, Colossus can activate first. Uh, let's have him floor for two from the main. Bring that down to one. He'll take consequential damage. We're looking pretty healthy. Okay, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready it back up. And we might want to defend here. We're going to draw back up to our hands as a six with the Sorcerer Supreme. And uh, oh, what is. Oh, yeah, I should have flipped these cards face down, um, but it's okay. It didn't change anything. So we're drawing back up to six here. Top card's gonna be face up with our effect. Full body charge. Um, okay, so we're gonna use limbo here. Response after the villain phase begins. We can exhaust limbo to swap a card in your hand with the top card of our deck. So we're gonna switch magic barrier here with the full body charge. Okay, so it's back to Apocalypse's turn. He's gonna add one to the main. 
then he adds a power counter. He's going to attack us with a base of three plus a boost here. And we just take it. We're going to use our effect here once per phase. So this will be during the villain phase. You may play the top card of your deck as if it's in your hand. Reduce its cost by one. So we can play magic barrier here for free. Here, interrupt defense. When you, an enemy initiates an attack, like right now, prevent three damage from an attack. If the top card of your deck has a energy or wild, do three damage to the enemy. So top card of our deck is not bad. So that's fine. So this will be his boost. It's uh, two and place one threat on ancient ritual. So this goes up to five, actually. Let's clean it up. So he's going to be doing one, two, three, four, five. We prevent two, uh, three of it with the magic bear. So we take two damage. That brings us from nine down to seven. That resolves the attack in our magic barrier. Uh, okay. Then we get a face on counter card. I want him to change forms. He got giant growth. When defeated, if Apocalypse is in giant form, he activates against a player who defeated the scheme. Oof. Okay. So this comes in with fire threat. So he's going to activate against us here. Because he is in giant form. I, I do want to clear it. Okay. So it's back to our turn. And then this will start the round for Clobber. Do we want to go ahead and play a clock? Because we played this during the villain phase, but the player phase is uh, what's going to start the round here. So, so we could play a clobber, get it back. Uh, how much damage are we doing here? We need to exorcism his thing. He's going to attack us. We do have a basic spell. That's fine. Let's, let's go ahead and do the clobber. So we're going to use a helicarrier to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. Extra is going to generate a resource, so we can play Clobber here. Here, we're actually going to attack and do three damage to the enemy. If this is the first card you play is wrong, return to your hand, so we're going to do three to Apocalypse. That will bring it from six down to three, and we can return the Clobber back to your hand, because it's the first card we played this round. The player phase starts the round, so. Okay, we're good to go there. Then I think we... We want to Exorcism, right? And then we have Colossus block for us. Or we could flip down, have him scheme on us. He schemes, you are, let's see, you are confused as cards. We could get rid of the Celestial Armor if we flip down when we defeat the Giant Growth. Uh, it's unfortunate we need Colossus to die to do that. Let's see, if I play Basic Spell, play Exorcism. And then we can just flip down, recover. Colossus throws it out. We let him scheme on a main. He's going to scheme again next turn, though. Uh, no, that could get scary, actually. No, I think we can't do that. How do we... Hmm. We need another ally. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. I do want to flip him before he heals, but I, I, I guess he won't change this form again. We need to get rid of this because it has a hazard icon. So yeah, I think we need to basic spell it out. Uh, all right, that's fine. So we're going to... Uh, we have plus one Thwart with our crown here. Oh, I forgot. Uh, whenever he attacked us earlier, when we uh, took the attack with our magic barrier, we have mystical armor, which gives us retaliate one, so we should retaliate one and hit him back. The retaliate uh, is mandatory to do, so he's going to take a damage there for the retaliate. So he drops down to two. Uh, really time to flip him here. Colossus can. What happens if he flips? I don't even know. Uh, that's fine. He's not going to heal because I don't think he's going to switch forms twice. So we have plus one Thwart with our crown with the uh, Soul Striker being a mental. So let's Thwart for two from Giant Growth. Drop this down to three. Then we're going to use. We could actually just heal. Yeah, let's use this as two resources so we can play Exorcism. Remove four threat from his scheme. Let's clear off the giant growth here. And then he can't be confused because he's stalwart. When this side scheme is defeated, uh, if Apocalypse is in giant form, he activates against the player who defeated the scheme. So he's going to attack us here. Colossus will block. This will be the boost. Three plus boost effect. Average activation resolves. Place a pursuit counter on pursuit by the pass. Oof, okay. So uh, it does three damage. Knocks Colossus out. Then we get a pursuit counter. So those are building up now. Um, okay. Still our turn. We're going to we thwart. No, I think we're okay here. We're gonna stay in our turn here for him. So two resources so we can play basic spell. Choose one, we pick the one in hue three. So we go from seven back up to our full hit points of ten. That's gonna end our turn. We're gonna ready back up in hero form and just take this attack. 
drawn back up to our hand size of six because of the Sorcerer Supreme. And then top card's gonna be face up here. Okay. All right, so Apocalypse turn, he's gonna add one to the main. It goes up to three. He's going to add a counter. Then he's going to attack us with a base of three plus a boost here. We're gonna block for two. Yeah, we don't get the effect. Uh, after this aggravation resolves, place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Okay, so three damage. We're defended for two. We take one damage. I'll bring it from 10 down to nine. And we place a pursuit counter here on pursuit by the past. So this is getting really close to popping now. Uh, he activated. We get a face out counter card. Drawing near. Oh, okay, that's not good. So force response. Um, oh, it doesn't do anything right now. After your turn begins, discard the top card of your deck. Place one pursuit counter. Okay, never mind. That will trigger it. Um, and after you action, we can discard an identity specific event from your hand to discard this card. Oof. Okay. Okay, so our turn begins. Discard top card of your deck. Place one pursuit counter for each printed resource on the card. So we place a counter here. There's four. So when there are four counters here, remove each counter. If your nemesis is in play, activates. Otherwise, flip this card over. So we flip over to pursue by the past. Uh, this side, or whatever. Uh, four spots. After you flip to this side, find your nemesis minion. Reveal it. Search the set aside area for Nemesis size game and reveal it. Shuffle your remaining set aside Nemesis set into your encounter deck and flip this card over. Oh, so we get everything. Okay, so we get our Nemesis here, Belasco. We get our Nemesis side scheme, the Ruler of Limbo. That is not good. We shuffle these three cards into the encounter deck. I'm gonna shuffle up. And we gotta get rid of this thing now, too. Uh, yeah, that is not good. Okay, and then we flip this card back over here. All right, so we did everything there. Uh, his force response is whenever he activates. He doesn't activate here. When reviewed, uh, the Elon and Rhapsody player finds Limbo and attaches it face down here, so we lose Limbo. When a scheme is defeated, we put Limbo into play under our control, coming with three threat, and we cannot remove scheme uh, threat from here while our nemesis minion is in play. This has an Amplify. Ah, this is not good. Uh, Oh, Professor X can confuse this guy, which would be helpful. We could also just soul strike him out, actually. Uh, where is our... Oh, and talk our deck space up. So we got this. Where is our uh, own technique? We don't have it here. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to scheme. We don't have the limbo. Okay, so we need to... Because he's going to scheme with this thing, which is going to be nasty. So I have to get Limbo back and knock out Belasco. So we play a Soul Strike and a Melee. Uh, oof. We play a Soul Strike, play a Melee. That's all of our resources. And then we still need to play Professor X of Thor. Uh, oh, we can do Scrying here because we know the top. Actually, let's do a Spiritual Meditation. So. Action, draw two cards, choose and discard one card from hand, so we get the double in our hand. Let's discard, we got a clobber. It's not gonna, is it better than, oh, the melee can knock out Apocalypse. Um, what are we discarding? Let's discard the clobber. Okay, top card, we're deck a space up with magic's effect. Just machine man. I think we're gonna flip Apocalypse here. Uh, I don't know what happens when he flips. So we want to play, so strike that would stun Belasco. It doesn't matter because we're gonna kill him. Uh, we play. Yeah, we gotta flip down. So we play Professor X. We play a Soul Strike. Scrying. Professor X will ready us. And then we knock out Belasco. Professor X scores from here. We get Limbo back. And then I don't know if I want to play Scrying because if there's no magic card here, I think we might just discard the Scrying to get rid of this thing as off of action. I don't want to be adding Pursuit counters every single turn. All right, I think that's going to be the play. So let's exhaust Heli Carrier to reduce the cost of the next card. We'll play by one extra as a resource. So we can play a Soul Strike. Four damage to the enemy. Let's hit him for four. And he would get stunned because we have physical resource, but it doesn't matter um, because we're going to kill him anyways. This will be three resources. Uh, actually, should we use the melee here? Keep Legion. Yeah, this would be three resources when paying for a basic card because power in all of us is a double. 
So we can play Professor X here. When he enters play, choose one. We pick the ones you're ready in X-Men character, readying magic. Magic swings for two, knocks out our nemesis here, Belasco. Then we're going to have Professor X store for three because we can remove threat from here now, now that he's gone. Clearing this off. And then we get Limbo back into play here. Professor X takes a consequential damage. Okay, so Limbo is really good. Uh, do we want to... Oh, we can still use our effect here to play Machine Man. Uh, did we use it yet? I don't think we did. Except for Cuckoo's. Bobber, Spiritual Nightmare, Nation. Yeah, okay, so let's use our effect. We can reduce the cost of the card on top card of our deck by one and play it. So let's use Legion as one resource to play Machine Man for one cost. And then we're going to flip down to Archer Eagle here. And we're going to use this Archer Eagle action. Discard an identity specific card from your hand right here to discard this card. Okay. So we did that. Uh, Machine Man is going to thwart for one from here. Drop this down to two. We'll take on square damage. And I think he's going to flip it here. Um, okay, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand size of six and Archer Eagle. And then we're going to use Limbo right here. So after the villain phase begins, which is beginning right now, exhaust Limbo, swap a card in your hand with the top card of our deck. So we want a mental here with the Celestial Armor. So switch this with the top card of our deck, which wasn't mental anyways. And I would rather discard the melee. That's fine. Uh, okay, so Apocalypse's turn. He's going to add one to the main. It goes up to three. He is going to scheme with a base of two plus a boost here of two. So scheme for a total of... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Sorry, before he does that, uh, it's fine. It, I don't think it would affect anything. So after he adds that to the main, he adds a counter, a power counter. Then there's four, so we actually discard these four and we mill from the counter deck, and he's not going to get that boost here. So we're going to mill until we get a superpower attachment and reveal it. Or not a superpower attachment, any superpower card. Okay, uh, we got one here. Okay, that's going to change its form, I think. So we got a size with the Christ icon. If the apocalypse is in sidepath form, he activates against you, otherwise, we change in there after we defeat this scheme. So this comes in with fire threat and a crisis. Okay, so we reviewed it. Now he's scheming with a base of two, plus a boost here, a uh, boost effect, average activation, place one pursuit counter. So, okay, we just place one pursuit counter. So he may not flip it on pursuit by the past. Um, okay, then he just scheming for two. So this goes from three up to five. He's going to trigger his celestial armor now. So when a villain schemes against you, discard top card of your deck. If it is a mental, we get confused and discard this card. So this is gone, and we get confused. And we actually have steady with our crown, which is a permanent effect, so we actually aren't confused. Uh, then we get a face down encounter card, which is super or staggering strength, attach to apocalypse, and change into giant forms are in giant form. Whenever he attacks you, you are stunned, discard card out of activation. At the end of the round, Professor X is discarded, and then it's back to our turn. Okay. So we actually managed there. Can we? No, we can't discard with Sunfire. I think we get scrying here. Uh, okay, we gotta sort this out, change him to different form. Or actually, do we just clobber him? Oh, our home technique is still in the deck. Uh, I think we just flip him here. Go for the rush down? No, I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and flip over here to hero form. And then we're gonna use our interrupt to get a spell card from the top of our deck over to it. Uh, let's get a soul strike, actually. Yeah, I think we can stun him here. No, or no, no. Let's get a. Let's see, which one are we getting? This will give us plus two thwart. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's get a soul strike. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, so we get a soul strike because you might have overkill anyways. Okay. Uh, no, side path is the one that doesn't have overkill. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so we got Soul Strike on top of our deck, which is a spell card with our Arch Eagle effect. Then we're going to, we haven't played a card this turn, so we're going to exhaust Hell of Hair to reduce the cost. So the next card we play by one. Extra is a resource, so we can play Clobber here. Here, Action Attack, do three damage to the enemy. We're going to hit Bacchus for three. That will bring it from two down zero. And flip him over to his third and final stage here. And he stays in giant form. He's going to have 
24 hit points. And then it says, after he changed his form, he didn't change his form, so nothing actually happens. He has no one reviewed effect. Uh, but he used three now whenever he changes his form, and he has more steam, more attack. Okay, uh, so Sire Path is fine. Yeah, he has no overkill there. Bobber's first card, we play the space, so it comes back to our hand. And then I think we play, uh, okay, we're going to have Magic Thor for two from Plugged In. Drop this from five down to three. Then we need to play Nick Fury here, so uh, yeah, let's use four resources here. Do we use it? No, it's fine. Yes, four resources here, so we can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one. We pick the one and draw three. So one, two, three. Top card of our deck is face up with Magic's effect. Oh, I wish I could limbo that. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't limbo it here. We could play the Soul Strike and stepping disc we could have machine man thwart it out apocalypse would change the cyber path and then we can stun him now nick's gonna take it anyways uh is there any reason for us to do that we ready up hmm no we want to have nick block here for us so we want to we can give machine man more thwart have him change his cyber path. We can get a ready. Or we just play forge. Uh, and then do some thwarting. Alright, we're going to have Machine Man Thwart from Plugged In. His effect, he can, uh, we can spend up to three resources. Let's spend two here to give him plus two to his Thwart. So he's going to Thwart for three. Clear off the Plugged In. He'll take consequential damage. When this is defeated, uh, if he's inside path form, he activates. If he's not, we change the cyber path form and give him a tough status card. So let's change over here to cyber path. He gets toughness and he has retaliate in this form. After he changes this form, place three threat on each scheme and play. Okay, that is. Oof. I did not. Alright, so. Yeah, that is not good. So three threat on each scheme and play. This goes up to 10. So I should have thrown from here first. But that's going to make this hit 8. So whenever that happens, it's going to flip over. I think we're still in advance here, so it's going to advance to stage 2A. The first player discards cards on top of it in, in the encounter deck until superpower is this card, and then we reveal it. So hopefully, no, okay, no superpower. So we discard all the cards, no superpowers. So this fizzles. Same effect, coming to one threat and acceleration because he decks out. Okay, that's actually most of his cards here. So we just got to get him down to uh, zero, and then we win. And we got Home Technique coming up with the Genius as well. So we are going to deck out though. So this is going to be a rough turn. I think in that case, we definitely Soul Strike, right? Yeah. Why would we not Soul Strike here? Because he might get another activation with the multiple encounter cards. So let's use... Uh, oh, we don't get the stun right now because we have a Genius on top. And we use Limbo already. Uh, oof, okay. Yeah, then we play Forge. So this would be uh, two resources, so we can play Forge. His effect's not going to do anything. Uh, we're going to have Nick Fury Thorpe for two from here. We can't take another encounter card, because that would be really rough. And then we're going to his Hude Conqueror damage. And then Forge is going to Thorpe for one from Ancient Ritual as well. He'll take Conqueror damage. Okay, that's going to end our turn. Let's right back up. And even though we're confused, we actually aren't, because we have the crown, which gives us steady. So let's ready everyone back up. Draw back up to our hands as a 6 with the Sorcerer Supreme. Then we deck out here with the Home Technique as the last card. Face down and counter card. Shuffle up our discard pile here. Back to the deck. We're going to draw three more. And hopefully we can uh, try to go for the kill here. Just need some attack events. So three more cards. Oof, we got a full body charge. Uh, Alright. So Apocalypse's turn. He's going to add two to the main because of the acceleration. It's up to three. Then he adds a power counter after adding threat there. Okay, he is going to attack us. So we're going to have Nick Fury block. Then with the base of 2 plus 2 is 4. Boost here. Boost effect. After his activation change into bio mode. Okay, so this is after the activation. So he doesn't change yet. So it's just going to be 4 damage. Knocks out Nick Fury. Whenever he attacks you, you are stunned. And then this card is card after the activation. So we have studies. So we're not actually stunned. This is his card. Then after... Uh, then the boost effects is after activation, change, change into Biomorph form. 
So we're going to flip him here to Biomorph. So now he has the overkill, which is pretty bad. Oh, and the top priority deck should be face up with Magic's effect. I forgot about that. Um, okay. So he now has overkill. We've got this. Okay. He attacked. Now he's going to deal with a face on counter card. Total two. First one is this thing again. So we will be stunned now with the two stuns if he attacks again. We've got a minion here with toughness and villainous. Whenever he schemes, play start on ancient ritual. Okay. So he has toughness and villainous. All right. So it's back to our turn. We could home technique here. Uh, we have Limbo. So if we play the home technique, we can Limbo into a Soul Strike. This guy does not have a uh, Soul Strike. It's going to do four damage. We don't have, we aren't stunned right now. Okay, so I got to remember that. Do we have Piercing? No, we need to get a physical on top. Do we kill this guy? I'm feeling kind of greedy. I'm feeling like we just go for the kill for Apocalypse. I don't think he's that tanky. Okay, we're going to exhaust Limbo. Uh, actually, should we play Meryl? We play Meryl, we do two damage to an enemy. That doesn't help us. Uh, I'm, I'm okay using Limbo here, I think. Now, I'd rather use our effect to get a card first. Actually, we could Limbo into the Hone. No, we need to get a physical. Okay, let's exhaust Limbo to swap Meryl with the top with the card in your hand. We're going to get the full body charge, which is a physical. So now we get plus one attack. Magic has piercing. We're going to swing for three. This guy does not have guards, so we're going to hit Apocalypse. Pierce off is tough. We aren't stunned because we have steady. Three damage. I'll bring from 24 down to 21. Okay. Then we're going to Soul Strike in here. Uh, let's use, let's see, we can Stepping Disc, get her ready. We play Soul Strike, Stun Apocalypse, uh, Swing again, with, and then Home Technique. Okay, yeah, that's the play. Okay, so this would be two resources here. Actually, we can keep something. Uh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we kill him? If we do this, we haven't used our effect yet, right? So we could do 12 damage. Then he'll be down to, what is that? 21 minus 12 is uh, 9. So we do this. And then we do 12 damage. We get a ready. We swing for three. These guys both swing. Oh, we're going to be short, like three damage. Oof. Okay, so we go for the kill next turn. Uh, okay, so that means we, we just have to try to survive here this turn. Uh, hmm. Uh, we are going to get stunned as well. Okay, we need to play Soul Strike. So let's use Helicare to reduce the cost next card by one. That we play by one. Extra is going to be a resource, so we can play Soul Strike here. Here, Ash and Attack do four damage. Anyway, we're going to hit Apocalypse for four. That'll bring him from 21 down to 17. Since the top card of our deck is a physical, we stun that enemy. So he's going to be stunned here. Okay, and then he's not going to get the power counts to do anything. So that is fine. Okay, down to 17. Uh, if we play a full body charge, it does eight. I'll bring him down to nine. If we ready, we swing for three. So six left, then Machima swing for two. Yeah, we're gonna be short three no matter what. There's no point thinking about that. Uh, so do we still want to play home technique? Is the question. We play home technique, play stepping disc. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's use this as three resources so we can play home technique. We're using two geniuses, which uh, or two mental resources, which is required to play home technique. Uh, max one for player. When you play an aggression attack event, you pay for that event using a mental resource, increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. So uh, we're getting it pretty late here, but it's okay. Um, then we're going to use this as a resource to play Stepping Disc. That will ready your hero. And then get a magic card in your discard pile, not name Stepping Disc and put it on top of your deck. So let's get the Soul Strike on top of our deck, I guess. Like, oh, we have to do it, yeah. Oh, and this would be face down. This would come on top of our deck. All right, 
So now we don't have the plus one attack anymore because we have the mental here, but we do have extra thwart. Uh, do we need to thwart from the main? I think just in case it gets an advance. Let's thwart for two because with our crown, we get plus one thwart. We bring the main from three down to one. And then we're just going to hold here and try to survive. We got to take some attacks here. That's okay. Let's end our turn. We're going to ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand size of six. Yeah, Magic's crown with a steady is insane. Hope we get our defense. We've got top cards to be face up. Just genius. Okay, so we have the kill if we can survive. So Apocalypse turn, he's going to add two to the main because of the acceleration. He goes up to three, and he adds a counter. Okay, he's going to attack us, but he's stunned, so nothing happens. This guy's going to attack us here. We are going to have Forge blocks attack because he has a build on this. So it's hitting with a base of one plus a boost here of two. Oh, that would have been great in counter card. So it's going to be three damage. Knocks out Forge. The effect doesn't, he has no effect if he attacks. So Forge is knocked out. Now we get the face down and counter card, which is a minion here with quick strike. After he attacks, place one third on Ancient Ritual, three instead of the attack if he now. Okay, that's fine. So it's quick strike. He's going to hit us for three. We're going to draw from nine down to six. We're just going to take it. After he attacks, place one third on Ancient Ritual. And then uh, three instead of it defeated ally and not defeated ally. So it's back to our turn, and we are not stunned or confused because of our steady. And I think we have to kill here. So none of these guys have guards, so we can just ignore both of them and go straight for Apocalypse himself. So uh, let's see, we need a mental or a full body charge. Let's move these guys over here. So let's go ahead. Let's see, it does. 12 and a machine man swings for one okay so we're gonna have machine man swing for one at apocalypse that's gonna bring him from 16 or 17 out 16 and machine man will take consequence damage and he gets defeated then we're going to use limbo to switch the top card of our deck with the card in our hand let's get the uh, full body charge on top of, of our deck here then we're going to use our effect to play a top card of our deck reducing its cost by one so instead of being four cost it's going to be three cost this would be three resources, and Angel is a mental resource, so we can play the full body charge. Top card deck is going to flip face up. This says, do you eight damage to the enemy if your hero's remaining hit points? It doesn't matter. But with our home technique, since we pay for it with a mental resource, with the uh, Angel here, we can add its cost to its damage, so 4 plus 8 is going to be 12. That will bring Apocalypse from 16 down to 4. And he doesn't have retaliate in this form. And then we're going to use, it uh, doesn't matter, we can use... Uh, this has two resources here. Keep the stepping disc in our hand to play a soul strike, which does hero action attack, do four damage to an enemy. So that will bring Apocalypse from four down to zero. And uh, I hope we played everything right, but that should be Apocalypse on expert mode. Uh, that's going to be expert one and a standard three. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, gameplay with magic. And I'll see you guys in the next one.